Good morning and welcome in to the Mystic Lotus and Dragonflies Academy Healers Training Tele Summit 2020. Our expert teacher trainer today is someone who brings a unique, different, evolved perspective to healing that can be easily learned by anyone who is willing to expand their worldviews. She is developer of emotional healing tool, immersive therapy, and is also a clinical hypnotherapist, Vedic astrologer, and conscious manifester coach. She brings an enthusiasm for healing and quantum physics into her classes that people enjoy and grow from. Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together for and join me in giving a warm mystic lotus welcome to this gorgeous lady whose voice is enough to light a room up. Please welcome in Ruchi Khanna. Hi Ruchi, welcome in. Hi Neelu, thanks for that amazing introduction. Very sweet of you. Thank you. Absolute ple uh, pleasure Ruchi. Ruchi, are you here today you know, to give us insights into immersive therapy and how learning it is going to you know, contribute to like see changes in self and in others and I still remember the first time I ever spoke to you about uh, actually pretty much the first time I spoke to you for one of the tele summits in fact about immersive therapy I remember asking you what is this immersive therapy Ruchi am I getting into a bathtub or what what's going on so immersive <laughs> therapy yeah <laughs> Well, yeah, you know, actually it is like getting into a bathtub. That's a good analogy for it. But you're getting into the bathtub of your emotions. So you're soaking into the bathtub of your emotions and you're allowing those emotions to not overtake you. You're allowing them to soothe you and calm you like the warm bath, you know, waters of a bathtub do. So it is like that. It's a good analogy, actually. And um, Immersive therapy is all about embracing your emotions. It's all about connecting with the truth of who you are in this moment. Uh, no matter what you're feeling in this moment, we welcome it all. If you're feeling anger, we welcome it. If you're feeling hatred, we welcome it. If you're feeling jealousy, we welcome it. And uh, the premise is that all these emotions are actually here to help us. They are here to help us to grow and evolve into the next phase of our evolutionary process. They're here to better us. They are here to teach us lessons that when we learn, we'll become a better and better, more evolved version of ourselves. So in immersive therapy, we actually use the body's natural intelligence to get in touch with the authenticity of what you're feeling. So getting into that bathtub and then allowing those waters to soothe you, allowing yourself to feel these waters uh, touching your skin and really embracing you really so we allow the emotions similarly to embrace us and we start growing from the authenticity of who we are so there's a lot of shadow work involved in immersive therapy because we start looking at our shadow we don't fear our shadow anymore we start looking at the hatred we start looking at the jealousy we start looking at the anger and we allow it to open up into the wisdom that it gets carries for us so you know that's what it's all about it's about embracing your shadow side it's about integrating your shadow side so that you can become whole you can become integrated you can become more and more evolved right so it's a process where we use the body's natural intelligence we use the body's wisdom to go into the emotion and to understand the emotion and understand what this emotion is doing for us, how it's benefiting us in our life. Because believe it or not, Nilu, uh, life is happening for you and not to you. And that's the whole premise of immersive therapy, that we are growing through the construct of duality. We are growing through the construct of uh, uh, extreme contrast. So only when... We understand hatred, can we understand love? Only when we understand anger can we really direct it into passion. You know, so it's about really embracing all aspects of yourself. It's about immersing yourself into all aspects of yourself so that you can really find the jewels of who you are because each one of us is unique. Each one of us is divine love in motion. Each one of us is stardust in motion. That's my favorite line. And we have all those elements of the cosmos within us. 
I feel like I had to study astrology somewhere because I needed to understand this very important concept that we are the microcosm of the macrocosm, right? So if we are the microcosm of the macrocosm, imagine how powerful we are. We have all the power of the universe within us and we need to embrace that power. We can't discard or release any aspect of ourselves because we are giving our power away when we are doing that, right? So it's about embracing all aspects of ourselves, like the mother, the divine mother has so many aspects and she embraces all aspects of herself to really own her power. And that's what we're doing in immersive therapy. We are owning our power by embracing all aspects of ourself, understanding all aspects of ourself and understanding what these different aspects of ourself are doing for us. What is the anger actually helping me to do? Have you ever asked that question to yourself? What is this anger actually helping me to do? What is it pushing me to become? What is this sadness actually helping me to do? What is it pushing me to become? So it's about really embracing your anger, embracing your sadness, embracing all those negative or so-called negative aspects of yourself that you feel are detrimental to you. You know, they're actually beneficial to you. And when you learn to embrace yourself in them, in that bathtub of emotions that you very beautifully uh, began with, I think you start embracing your shadow side and growing from it and becoming a better and better version of yourself. And guess what? When you become a better and better version of yourself, when you own at all aspects of yourself, when you come into your power, your life becomes more easy and you know, graceful. Everything falls into place. Um, you know, things start materializing, desires start manifesting and all those wonderful things that we desire in life, that we want to achieve in life actually start happening for us because we're not shunning any aspect of ourselves anymore. We're embracing and growing from every aspect of ourselves. We're growing from the shadow personality as well. We're embracing it. We're growing from it. It's just like when you come out of a bathtub and you feel refreshed, you feel renewed after a session of immersive therapy, you feel refreshed. You feel renewed. You feel like your life purpose, you've understood it better. And, you know, life starts making more sense to you. Life right. starts making more sense and you start uh, living a more aware existence uh, in tune with your purpose, in tune with your authenticity, in tune with who you are. You start owning your life and life starts working for you, right? Because as I said earlier, life is happening for you, not to you. And you start feeling it in your life. Oh, this is how life is happening for me. This is how life is co-creating with me, collaborating with me. So it's a collaboration of energies with life because life is a feedback mechanism, you know? So it's like yeah. collaborating with your life so that you can live your optimal life. That's what it is really. Superb. That, that was so lovely. The way you've just explained it, there's so much that that within this, I do, first of all, I love the, the stardust in motion bit. And yeah. <laughs> uh, I remember taking uh, Vidya's permission about using the word uh, less than God in, in defining certain emotions. And uh, I'm definitely going to take, take your permission to say, please may I start using stardust in motion. It's so beautiful. It Please so use amazing. it. You, are, you don't need my permission. You are stardust in motion. So you can do what you want. I honor that in you. <laughs> Thank you. I love it. I am, I am definitely, definitely. There's so many nuggets that I get to pick up from all of you amazing people. And right now, yours is a beautiful icing, stardust in motion. I love what you said, Richie, about the embracing of it all. Uh, no matter what it is, because still you don't emb embrace it. You don't know what you are supposed to learn from it. And therefore, how will you evolve? There are a lot of things that came up. There are certain words that you use. So I just wanted to bring those up. You know, you mentioned there's a lot of shadow work. You, you mentioned construct of duality. I want to go back and ask you each of these things. But before that, Ruchi, you know, you, as you, as you said, and have mentioned and have told us that you are the developer of this tool. Why yeah. the word developer? Why not creator that, you know, because this is yours, this is something you've made or it's come to you. Why the word developer? Well, this is really interesting, Neelu, because um, when I say developer, I don't want to take the onus of having created immersive therapy at all because that's not the truth. 
this is universal information that existed in the energy field and i felt that it came to me at a point in my life where i had done enough shadow work which means that i had embraced my authenticity enough i had claimed aspects of myself of my journey enough to be a clearer channel for this information to come in so this information came to me at my in at a point in my life where i had already done a lot of work on myself where i had done a lot of inner child work where i had done a lot of past life regressions on myself because remember i'm a hypnotherapist by training i'm also a teacher of hypnotherapy so you know i had done a lot of work on myself already when um, I, i had already been a therapist for about 8 or 9 years when uh, immersive therapy came to me because it's universal wisdom that i feel like i channeled when i was ready when i was a clear enough cube that could bring on this information and um, you know i used to do a lot of meditation i still do and I, at that point in my life i was sitting for meditations and information was just pouring in and um, information was pouring in from a particular source is what i noticed and it was it was a very uh, clear consciousness a point of focused consciousness that was communicating with me and giving me this information he looked and for lack of a better way to put it because it's not about he or she it's not even about hierarchy but he looked like a white lion be so it was he was like a man but grandiose and really huge and that's the way his energy felt and uh, he was a white lion being which is you know like a man but a lion as well and white and beautiful and just majestic as lions are and uh, that was the focused point of consciousness that was giving me this information and he told me about why the universe was created what is the purpose of earth in the role of the cosmos at this particular point of time what are we as individuals doing in this whole cosmic story what is our individual purpose what my individual purpose is and why i needed to channel immersive therapy and then pass it on to others because it was time in collective consciousness where people were ready for this information where people were ready to integrate their shadow side and to embrace all aspects of themselves later you know i'm i'm a very practical person i'm uh, you know i'm i need proof for things and uh, he also explained who he was so he was me again i don't want to talk about hierarchy here but lack if you know due to a lack of a better way to put it he was me in a higher dimension or a higher consciousness a more evolved version of me so to speak and uh, uh, he appeared to me as a white lion being uh, from sirius from another planet really which seemed very weird for me but um, you know that's the way the information came to me um because a uh, white represents purity lion represents strength character in our perspective from our earth perspective and um, he is that symbol of purity and consciousness and wisdom and strength who is the uh, hallmark of what immersive therapy is so his form was just a representation a visual representation of who he was we can't take these things too literally really but uh, that was his cosmic vibration and i was seeing that this visually that con co uh, that cosmic vibration i was able to see in my third eye visually as the white lion being and he was the one giving me this focused uh, information about immersive therapy about why life exists at this point of time what is the purpose of it all because these were questions that i had since a very young age uh, you know ever since i can remember i wondered what is the purpose of life why are we here what are we here to do uh, where are we going from here things like that you know i always wondered about them and he in a very concise very precise very clear way was able to communicate that information to me when i was ready to receive it so that is what i have done i have simply received this information i have downloaded it i have uh, formatted it as a course and basic course or a foundation course and an advanced course that i am now teaching it as immersive therapy 
and it's an extremely practical tool because I'm an extremely practical therapist actually who needs results. So for me, the esoterics are not as important as the results are. And this is a course and this is a, a you know, training program that will help you to get the results in your clients. At the end of the day, we are living an earth life. We are living a material existence and we want results. We want to see our best life manifested. We want to see desires manifested. We want to see happiness. We want to feel joy. We want to experience abundance. We want to live stress-free and happy lives. And this is ultimately what the course helps you to do. But it also helps you to understand the larger picture. It helps you to understand the esoterics of things as well. Can you hear me? Yes, very much so. Yeah. You. It helps you to understand the esoterics of things as well. And, um, but it is it delivered in a very practical way that you can use quickly and effectively on yourself and on your clients to get amazing results. So it's information that is coming from a higher dimension, which is why I don't want to take credit for it. Um, and it's information that is, uh, is, is here now in this moment of time, because we are ready for that transformation. We are ready to embrace our shadow. We are ready to move out of judgments. And we are ready to embrace all aspects of ourselves and really understand what life is trying to teach us. We are ready to become aware, evolved individuals. Right? So that right. is why I don't like to take credit for it. It's not, I've just developed it. I've not created immersive therapy and I don't want to, I've simply channeled it. So, uh, and I've put it uh, into place. I've put it in a practical, theoretical manner. So, <laughs> so that's, that's why I'm just the developer. I'm not the creator. Lovely. Fantastic. So, Ruchi, am I, am I right in understanding that all your studying, uh, all your learnings from before, all your work on yourself is what opened you up to becoming a channel? Um, yes and no, Nilu, because I feel like, um, you know, even as a very young child, I felt um, very connected to cosmic information. Uh, I was very intuitive. I, you know, wondered about life and I came in with a lot of knowingness. Uh, so right. it was definitely part of my life plan to embrace that part of me and explore that part of me more and then, you know, deliver the information that came to me. So I feel that, uh, yes, I needed to do the work that I did in order to open those channels because all of us, in life get entangled in our life story you know we get entangled in childhood traumas uh, which is what immersive therapy does beautifully it you know it heals those childhood traumas we do a lot of inner child healing in the foundation course that actually heal those inner child traumas which you know we are carrying with us through our life and which is not really helping us to be a clear channel so actually all of us are channels and we can all channel universal information and connect with our cosmic self which is what we do in the advanced course we all connect with our cosmic self once enough, once enough clearings have been done uh, so answering your question i think this was part of my life journey so i was a very intuitive child but i shut it off in my teenage years and in my early 20s and then in my late 20s is when you know, I started uh, doing the healing, started doing a lot of workshops and courses. And yeah, that, that brought on a lot of clearings and helped me to remember why I was here, what I was here to do on planet Earth. And it helped me to remember what my soul signature was. And it helped me to remember what I'm here to experience and here to give. So my dharma is what it opened me up to. And uh, it helped me to embrace my karma as well. So both of them hand in hand, both of them go hand in hand. Yeah. But yes, of course, any inner work we do just makes us clearer and clearer channels for universal wisdom, clearer, clearer channels to manifest the life that we want, you know, to, uh, to create a life of abundance of all kinds. So yes. Okay. Right. Right. There's actually a reason why I asked that, Ruchi, and thank you so much for your answer. Why I wanted to specifically ask you that is that yeah, I've, I've, we've just heard from you a lot about, you know, the, the earth perspective, the higher dimension. Um, so does somebody already need to be a practitioner having been through a certain amount of work and is therefore opened up 
uh, to be able to receive this kind of learning better or not at all open for somebody completely new also it's open for somebody completely new as well in fact i've had uh, i do a lot of workshops in dubai actually and uh, you know because that's where i lived for a very long time and i have lovely clients in dubai um so i've done this workshop in dubai and a few of the new people who came in knew nothing about spirituality knew nothing about metaphysics and i think in fact you know they came in with such a clean slate that they absorbed it so well and they're practicing in their lives now beautifully so it doesn't have to be that way you you need to honor your journey whatever your journey is and we are all waking up so to speak at different points in our life at different speeds and all of that needs to be honored because it's all a divine play of creation so you know whoever is uh, choosing to do this as a first time course i honor them and whoever is choosing to do this as a veteran or an esteemed therapist i honor them as well i've had a lot of therapists also do the course with me so you know just to add to their toolkit of um, therapeutic tools that they can use on clients right. and uh, they've benefited from it as well so you can be a veteran and do this course and it'll add something to your toolbox or you can be a newbie and do this course and it will change your perspective of life and the way you live and the way you think etc so either way is fine you oh super super there like as i said to you i honed in zoned in on so many words that you've used and i'm like dying to ask you what those words mean and i'm thinking it's probably this is probably a good time to ask you what is involved in this learning process and i think the questions would be able to i'd be able to pass the you know actually uh, i have a suggestion neelu one of my yeah. very dear clients and uh, she's actually uh, you know somebody who's recently done immersive therapy foundation and advanced with me she's an amazing woman a woman of substance and she's on the call she's taken time out from her very busy schedule thank you so much pratika Uh, and she's on the call and she's just done the course why don't we hear from her what she thought of the course what do you say yeah absolutely yes please uh, amrish can we have kritika unmuted please hi 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 kritika welcome in hi neelu thank you Wow, please on the platform is fabulous thank you so much thank you please uh, please share with us uh, your process that you went through with ruchi what it involved and how it helped you yeah so ruchi um, i started this course with ruchi uh, late last year we started this in december and i have known ruchi for 3 years now she's been um, a personal counselor i'm going to call her more like a coach uh, she's been more like a coach and really helped me in my journey both in my professional as well as my um, professional life and uh, you know at some point we realized that there were certain patterns that kept coming up and that's when ruchi suggested to me that hey why don't you try the program or try doing the foundation course so that you're not just constantly obsessed about your own problems but you look at it from a you know more from a knowledge and wisdom and growing and evolution and from a different perspective and uh, i am really happy that she suggested that to me because when i started that program for the first time i stepped out of my shoes and i was looking at it more from uh, you know it's far easier to um, absorb information when you are not obsessing about your own problems and i think that's what happened to me so i was able to uh, really absorb all the information that she had to give me the immersive therapy was fantastic uh, to add to what ruchi was saying i think it what it did for me the foundation course was the foundation course made me feel a lot lighter i think at the end of the foundation course i i really felt healed uh, lighter happier and i was uh, beautiful uh, i was able to spread that to a lot of my loved ones all around me families friends i've seen magic happen in my life uh, again both professionally as well as um, uh, in your personal life in my personal life as well but i've also seen that magic happen in people that are very dear to me that i was able to share this knowledge with uh um, now that was the foundation course when i moved on from the foundation to the advance which is something that uh we did recently um i thought that was when we moved from feeling lighter uh to kind of starting to experience some form of magic 
I think that's what I would call it because when we did the future life integration, so the, so the immersive therapy was a lot more about past life, a lot more about my childhood, a lot more about healing. Whereas the advanced course for me was a lot more about future, a lot more about what I become in the future. So that gave me a lot of hope. It gave me, um, it's become my happy place. Every time I need a happy place, I, um, I go to one of those, I do the meditation that I've done with Ruchi and uh, it gives a lot of hope, a lot of faith. And um, I think it's the power of manifestations that's really coming in from the advanced course with the whole knowledge of parallel realities. You're, you know, you have a whole galactic family out there. Um, it's, I have a lot of gratitude to Ruchi for introducing me to that world. So thank you. Thank you, Pratika. That was so beautiful and you're always so amazing with your words. Thank you. <laughs> Pratika, I got to say, first of all, of course, thank you for coming on. And there's a, there's a poster behind you that I can't read fully, but I definitely, the, I think I caught the best words. There's a space, beautiful space, uh, earth and home or something. Pratika, if you're still here, can we just have a look at that poster? Yes, yes. So... Um, it's actually, I'm an architect and the mission of our firm is to create beautiful and healthy spaces that enhance the human experience. So while you were talking, what I could see, what I could, what I at that time had, could, was able to make out with the angle that was beautiful spaces and human. So I think Ruchi, uh, even if Pritika had not said anything, that would pretty much cover her experience with your work. Correct me if I'm wrong, Pritika. Yeah, Nidu, very well said. She, um, you know, I think um, it's of course helped me so much in my personal life, but it's made me a better architect. It's, and you know, when we're impacting these many lives, we do some beautiful work where we get the opportunity to impact a lot of lives. And uh, now that that impact is coming with a lot of mindfulness. So you're right. Yeah. Thank you for observing that. Yeah, Thank she's um, she's somebody who's creating a lot of change in a lot of people's lives. So I think, uh, you know, the work that I've done on her is definitely going to have a massive ripple effect because it's going to empower so many people and help so many people to, uh, you know, shift into higher levels of awareness and living really. So yeah, thank you, Pratika. <laughs> thank you for coming on, Pratika. We know you're at work and, uh, you know, this is, this is tough to do. So thank you so much for taking a few minutes out of your schedule. You brought up a lot of words and set me going for a bunch of questions. I'm ready to ask Richie. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Bye. You have a good day and best wishes always. Thank you. Thank you, Pratika. See you. Bye. Perfect. So I, was, I think... Was, yes. Go ahead. Richie. I think she uh, so, you know, clearly, uh, you know, gave us what immersive therapy foundation and advanced really is all about. And I just wanted to say that, you know, even the future lives, which is part of the advanced course, when we, when we delve into future lives, uh, because what we do in the advanced course is we study parallel realities as linear parallel realities, which is past, present and future, but also frequential parallel realities, which is other dimensions that you exist on. It all comes in the spectrum of parallel realities and we explore all of it. Um, what she enjoyed the most was, uh, well, what she enjoyed a lot, I, I, I can't say the most or not because that's for her to say, but what she really enjoyed was the future lives progression. Uh, we, we say past life regression and future life progression. So what she really enjoyed was the future life progressions because what future life pro progressions really are is that they connect you with master lives where you have learned the lesson that you are currently learning and they help you to embody that lesson when you actually tune into them they help you to embody that lesson in your current life scenario so it's a fabulous magical approach to healing which really changes the game for you and which is why i call it magical because it changes the game for you it really helps you to uh, you know become that frequency of what you are capable of so it helps you to master that frequency of what you're capable of, right? So uh, I do it with a lot of clients and I've seen a lot of future lives, not just past lives now. And, you know, it just helps you to integrate those aspects of yourself that you're currently learning and imagine in the future you've mastered them. 
So it's um, it's an amazing tool that you know we're now opening our eyes to, so to speak. Uh, and it's it's a wonderful tool that we can use in our therapy uh, for the therapists out there, and even you know just people who uh, want to improve their life. It's a beautiful tool for them to use as well, and that's what we do in the advanced. Fantastic. So. Okay, future life progression in the advanced. I'm going to come back to the foundation course where Kritika has also mentioned uh, that there was a lot of past life work done. So, what is yeah. the foundation? What is the foundation all about? Is it is it PLR? What what is so the foundation the, course? Yeah, the what's foundation the course, course like? Yeah, yeah. So the foundation course is you know where we deal with the lessons. Uh, it's all about dealing with your physical body and the emotions that are stuck or stored in your physical body as heaviness. So it's about really clearing the physical body and emotional body of all the toxicity that you've been carrying in this current lifetime. So in the foundation course, we just deal with present lifetime and we go to inner child. Uh, we do a lot of inner child work. We do a lot of shadow work. We integrate the ego mind personality with your physical reality in the now moment, basically. So it is, you feel a lot lighter, you feel more positive, you have a stress-free approach to life. You start manifesting, uh, you know, the things that you desire in your life and your life changes in just the foundation course. But that is an extremely practical tool to use in your current life situation to improve your life in the moment to improve, improve your current life situation, to manifest desires, to um, you know, live a more conscious, happy, purposeful life. Uh, whereas in the advanced course, we become esoteric and we go into past life, future life, you know, frequential realities of other dimensions. So I would say the foundation course is what you need to get your life sorted. Uh, but if you do the advanced course, then you can, you can move into, you can travel through time and space and you become a time traveler, so to speak. <laughs> and, uh, you know, you can visit your past, you can visit your future, you can visit different realities in different dimensions. Uh, but it's, it's, a, it's an offshoot of the, uh, you know, your foundation course, which is the most important, really, I would say, because what do we want at the end of the day? We want results. We want to see our desires getting manifested. We want to live an abundant life in the now moment. We want to live stress-free, happy existences, right? So that's what the foundation gives you. The foundation helps you to do all of that. Super. I hope that answers would, your question. Yes, absolutely. In fact, I do want, I did want to ask you, what are these tools? And you mentioned uh, inner child work. I was, before I, I go on with that, Jay has just, Jay has just written in asking, Rajik, what is the difference between uh, Akashic or PLR, past life regression, and your therapy, which is immersive therapy? What would be the difference? So immersive therapy gives you solutions. Um, it gives you a direction in life. Uh, it clears the clutter of your mind space so you can live a more free existence. It clears the heaviness in the physical body. It helps to bring the physical body back into a space of homeostasis and your emotional body and your mental body into a state of balance. Um, so it, it's a lot of cathartic work that we do. Uh, Akashic Records is, I, I'm presuming, I haven't really delved much into it, but it's more about just viewing the past and the, you know, what, what the records hold for you. Uh, this is more about dealing with it, learning the lessons, digesting them, digestion being a key word here, digesting them in the physical body and the mind to bring you to a state of homeostasis. So it's a lot of um, cathartic work that we do, so to speak. I hope that makes sense. Jaya, I hope that answers, answers your query. What about PLR? She also mentioned PLR. Because you have mentioned past life work. So I, I suppose that's where her question is. So as I from. said, as I said, past life is part of uh, the advanced course. Um, and we do past life work when we study parallel realities. And it adds to the information of who you are across time and space. But what, what is the key uh, of uh, immersive therapy is really just healing the physical body and the physical mind by learning the lessons that every experience is trying to teach us and digesting in the physical body and the mind the lessons of that experience, uh, which, which 
inner child healing is a lot a part of as well. So um, in the foundation course, we don't really delve into past lives. Um, we, we simply stick to the current life and we digest the experiences of the current life scenario so that we can learn the lessons of each uh, experience and come out stronger, digest them in the physical body. You'll actually feel a difference in your physical body. And I actually have a client who is here who I've done a lot of immersive therapy work on and he will tell you what happened to him uh, when I did some immersive therapy on him. I mean, his experience is just phenomenal. It's mind blowing. So I'd love to have him on if you're happy to have him on, Nilu. Of course, of course. And while, uh, while Amrish has SM uh, unmuted, uh, just tell me, tell me if I've understood this correctly. For, for instance, when you were explaining the difference between Akashic record, as, is, uh, as you rightly mentioned, Akashic record is a record. It's, it's basically, uh, it's, you know, it's, it's your book of, it's your book in life. Okay. So if it, it tells you something, it, it gives you a connection to the reasons as to what or why something could be happening to you right now, especially karmically. So it tells you that, and then you got to work on, and you know, you, you go into the forgiveness mode with that and you go through whatever exercises. If I can just use the, the beauty of that and the, and the beauty of the muscle therapy and say that, you know, get your Akashic record open, find out what's bothering you, and then use something like the therapy to, as Richie has said, it's it's catharsis. So that well, work, uh, and you combine it with this God. separately. So yeah, that would I mean, be like I a powerhouse, think, right? I I think Nilu, that everything you do, of course, adds to your um, you know that onion peeling effect that happens when you start right. the healing process. So everything helps, but. Uh, really immersive therapy, uh, what you can compare it to, if you want to compare it to anything is, I'm talking about the foundation, uh, the information that you receive in foundation is just like EFT. It's really releasing. Uh, we don't call it releasing in immersive therapy. We call it digesting because there's a difference between releasing and digesting. When you release, you release with the premise that there's something external of you that will take care of it. But in immersive therapy, the premise is that you are the cosmos, you are the microcosm of the macrocosm. So everything is you. So when you release, there's nowhere for it to go to really. It's just staying within you. But when you digest a, an emotion like food, it will nourish you. So the process of digestion and, uh, you know, when you do immersive therapy is that the emotions, even the negative emotions, in fact, the negative emotions are going to nourish you they're going to teach you something they're going to help you to grow right just like when you eat food and you digest it it nourishes you it nurtures you similarly the emotions that we digest can have the same effect on us so that's what it's about uh, so if you have to compare it to anything i would say eft because you know it brings balance in the physical body it can resolve is issues instantaneously uh, so it's more about the catharsis um, and if you are looking for more information, then if a session of immersive therapy can do that for you. But if you're learning how to do immersive therapy on yourself and others, then the advanced course will give you all that esoteric information that you're looking for about past lives, future lives, frequential realities, all of that. Right. Okay. Uh, Jay, we do have, we do have uh, SP online with us before we get in on because Jaya has asked questions with your answers if you could just uh, uh, sure, you know, her queries so she's asked a will you teach plr fully in the advanced course will you teach plr fully yes of course in the advanced it's part course, of the yeah. course yeah 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 right. it's part of the course you will learn how to go into past lives from the present moment so we will start with the principles of immersive therapy foundation and through a negative experience of the current life and through the lesson that we learn in that, we will go to a past life. So it's going to be a purposeful visit to the past life. Uh, there's a way we do it in immersive therapy and we view the past life, we integrate the reality and then we can even jump into a future life from there where we view the future life, integrate that reality and then we can even jump into a life in another dimension so you can be a time traveler as i said by the time you get to the advanced course absolutely right perfect i hope that answered that for you oh i'm sorry there's one more she said 
So is it identify and heal or only heal? Is it I, absolutely identify, identify and heal? Identify and heal. You will know exactly what that emotion is trying to tell you, what that experience is trying to tell you. What is the lesson that you are learning in this experience? As I self, said, it's a purposeful reality we are living. And everything that happens is happening for us, for us to understand and grow from. So of course you will know why things are happening to you. It will answer a lot of questions. It's a very purposeful course. Okay, thank you. And Richie, questions are pouring in before that. Wonderful. We have SP in, we have him unmuted. Hi, welcome in. Hi, thank you for having me here. Uh, so before, uh, uh, thank you. Uh, so I just want to share my journey that I've had uh, for these last couple of years in which one of my brightest guiding lights have been Ruchi. So I will try to keep this as short as I can, but you know, I just thank you for your patience while, uh, while I just uh, speak about my journey. So before I got into this low phase of my life, I was actually a very happy-go-lucky, very jovial person. I was successful at my work. I had an amazing friend circle and I was very outgoing. Basically, I was the last person who I knew who would get anxiety, let alone depression. So I married my then high school girlfriend uh, seven years back. And within the first year of my marriage, it became difficult. I started to experience immense mental and physical abuse. And eventually, uh, five years back, my body started uh, you know, giving, giving up because of the stress I had. So I would get a lot of pain, back pain, shoulder pain, leg pain. And often this pain would... I would not be able to leave my bed. I would not be able to go to work because I had this unknown pain. Eventually, uh, in 2016, I had a traumatic episode and I had my first panic attack then. Uh, you know, I found myself waking up in the ICU of a hospital and I was diagnosed with anxiety after that. Now, due to several issues or reasons of my own, I was unwilling or unable to break the marriage. And this caused me immense stress. I developed high blood pressure, although my family has no history of blood pressure, uh, fibromyalgia, a very high heart rate, and my anxiety basically snowballed into a depression. Uh, I was hitting a new rock bottom every day. I was on very heavy medication for about two years. And just to tell you how depressed I was, I, I didn't care if I lived or not. I mean, I would wake up every day just to go back to sleep. And I was sabotaging, you know, my relationships, my business, uh, and myself. Uh, I didn't give up on my marriage easily through all these years. I did try to engage with my wife and to, you know, try and sort things out because her abuse was only towards me and my family, but she was normal outside. So before I met Ruchi, somewhere towards the end of 2018, I'd already been through two psychiatrists, uh, different counselors and therapists, and had tried every kind of healing, uh, uh, past life, chakra healing, bars healing. Uh, they were useful to me. Uh, but, you know, I wasn't seeming to make that breakthrough. So I think the biggest change that I had with Ruchi was her engaging and explaining karma in his life to me. So my dilemma was a spiritual one because I misunderstood spirituality. I refused to leave my wife as I thought I was hurting somebody and that is wrong. I took karma as something, you know, that, that happened to me and that I had no power over. And, you know, I... Somewhere I felt like I had to undergo some kind of penance in this relationship. And so I must take it out. Uh, don't get me wrong. I really wanted to leave. I was extremely unhappy and I had taken enough of the abuse, but I couldn't because I was in guilt and denial. And even though my family didn't support me, they said that, you know, this too shall pass. Everything will be fine. It's just your karma. So with Ruchi, we would sit and break down my issues into workable problems and just help me connect with what I really wanted and who I am authentically. So for example, we would dissect patterns of my thinking. And what I was doing very often is I was making a lot of judgments of myself. You know, I was creating a lot of blocks to my own happiness. So we worked really hard in breaking those blocks. And then I finally came to understand who I was and what I really wanted. I understood that, you know, I don't want to hurt my wife, but I don't want to suffer either. I have tried to a point, you know, where I almost died. But now it was time to end things and move on. I simply denied myself happiness, thinking happiness is some far off destination. I used to judge every single joy in this life because I would think the joys of this world are inferior and there's some amazing happiness waiting for me later on, you know, probably in the afterlife or something. But what I learned was happiness is the journey and the destination. 
so you know i i came to realize that none of us are here to suffer we are only here to learn lessons and now in hindsight i thank my my wife or my ex wife because the lessons she's taught me i could not learn anywhere else so my lessons were that of of self love of self preservation of understanding that within me also a part of the divine resides and i owe my first karma to that divinity too and that you know this desiring something if it's not from a place of malice is completely okay so i finally realized that uh, i wanted to be happy and i should claim that happiness ruchi ultimately uh, over the last 2 years has helped me get off my medication and just to give you an idea of the kind of meds i was on at my peak i was taking uh, around 5 to 6 meds a day just for my head and 3 to 4 others for blood pressure and cholesterol everything which came because of my stress so i don't advocate not taking medicines of course if you need it your psychiatrist prescribes it you should definitely take it but eventually for me it became like a crutch and when i understood my set patterns that were causing my stress uh, you know it it just dissolved so you know today it's been 7 months since i've been off my medication my blood pressure got better on its own as of today i'm only taking one mild pill a day the withdrawal was extremely excruciating i would in fact come for sessions with ruchi maybe twice a week be on the phone with her almost every second day i would fight with her i would tell her i want to go back on the meds i can't handle this but you know she helped me fight through it and uh i know i right now uh, at the end of it a couple of months back i just got up and i made myself concrete i fought my fought with my family i walked out of my house and the moment i did that the moment i steeled my own resolve the universe uh, conspired and i suddenly have all the support i need so i understood through therapy what my authentic needs are what my what my what emotions my ego is flaring up because of my judgment and that i just need to love myself because only a healthy tree can give fruits and ultimately the universe is just a chef whatever i hold in my subconscious or you know in my patterns of my brain is what will manifest so i still have some bad days but i have mostly good days now i've come to realize that no matter what my mind is attacking me with i'm going to be okay and i'm going to be happy and i am a powerful being so the my biggest uh, benefit of sitting with ruchi was just connecting with myself understanding myself and you know being shown that mirror so yeah uh, these were my uh, invaluable experiences that i've had with uh, ruchi and and now he's a therapist for a lot of people <laughs> <laughs> that's amazing wonderful that's just amazing so proud of you 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 thank you i have good days my mind it's and it's thank um, you so much it took a lot of courage for you during your process and on on behalf of the team on on behalf of our listening audience i'd like to thank you for coming on here sharing this huge part of your life with us and there are so many interesting things you said the last thing that caught my attention was the universe is the chef and the ingredients i hold is you know is the dish that i'm going to be served basically yeah so, beautiful that's that yeah very nicely you you covered it all with your own experience and to come on a public <laughs> platform like this and to to say this and to share this takes a lot so kudos to you and best thank wishes you, so always thank you so thank much you. i know you're busy so please carry on with your day thank you so much for doing this and you're amazing you are sparkling stardust in motion you you've you've started shining your light now so thank you for that thank you thank you so much i have good guidance thank you guys take care thank you Wonderful. hey very nice um, so glad he came on Uh, with everything yeah. that he shared you know ruchi i think everybody listening in me included yeah we we might not have or gone through what he's gone through or somebody listening is maybe going through parts of what he's gone through but there's so much that he said that all of us can connect to some part or the other and absolutely you know it, uh, i do not know his profession i don't know if he's a writer or an orator <laughs> but it is your work with him has definitely made him made him one there's some lovely stuff that he said including this last bit and there's one more thing the two more things that he said that i i found 
very interesting and it immediately stuck in my head one was that you know i owe my first karma to the divinity and the other one more thing that he mentioned was that what you want if it doesn't come from a space of malice it's absolutely okay to want it absolutely absolutely you owe yourself that because you're here to be happy you're here to experience the joy of physicality and there's a lot of joy in physicality i mean what we get to experience because i've been in touch with higher aspects or different aspects of myself in other dimensions i know that what we experience in physical form is very exciting you know um uh, physical touch is very exciting food is exciting um you know experiences whether they are good or bad it's all exciting this is an exciting melting pot and you are here to experience it fully and to deny yourself that experience uh, is escapism really because you are here for that so immersive therapy which is why it's called immersive therapy it helps you to soak that all up and it helps you to start living it embracing it enjoying it uh and doing something with it making it purposeful so that i believe the highest karma that we have or dharma that we have is being authentically us because when we are the highest version of ourselves that fills our cup and that percolates into you know everybody we come in contact with our friends our family our colleagues our children our you know whoever you may it just percolates our clients it percolates into them receiving the best of us and then in turn projecting that because life is a mirror and so yeah. our duty our dharma is to be fully us fully aware of who we are authentically so that we can move into that and embrace that and immerse ourselves into that and immerse ourselves into our journey and embrace our shadow and be fully us so it's about integration it's about integrating all aspects of yourself so that you can shine your light nice ruchi questions questions tons of questions but you lovely constantly been using the word experience 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 is there any way that we could experience a little something right now sure of course i understand we can this. jump into a demo oh superb superb uh, okay and is there any any prerequisite ruchi Do you, do you have any specific questions to ask that people could say yes to and we could take somebody on uh whoever wants to come on to experience this and um i'm going to allow you to choose um let's not come up with a uh, very old deep rooted problems maybe because that may require a few sessions or for you to do the foundation course so you can resolve the issues in the foundation program um but you know definitely somebody who has a recent problem or something that you're dealing with which is not consuming you but something we can quickly do on the call and because i want it to be effective right away so surely superb and while we wait for people to to put that in to to get back to us you also kept mentioning the word digestion 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 and i just wanted to share with everybody ruchi Uh, my first experience with you was with digestion only <laughs> right so, i remember oh, the ages ago yeah, yeah. the ages ah, ago yes. which when i was uh, you know I, i was swinging between uh, why am i why is like roti beginning to affect me why is wheat beginning to affect me am i letting uh, these weight loss fads about the oh, hello let's go gluten free affect me so much or is there really some kind of issue because i've grown up eating wheat my entire life and it's never bothered me and it was what less than 10 minutes ruchi that we spoke i think it was less than yeah. 10 minutes it was a, it was like a like a snap your fingers and the call is done time and yeah, i i really do remember the quick <laughs> understanding it really. you know sometimes i've noticed allergies are like this it's you know you know if you haven't um well it, you know intolerance no but allergy sometimes even an intolerance it just it's a very quick you know uh, why you are allergic to it and um, it it resolves very quickly in the physical body so that's what i mean by you know bringing you to a state of homeostasis in the physical body because the minute you understand what it is it just resolves automatically the cells absorb that information the cells absorb those wisdom codes and you know the body behaves differently then so yeah okay okay and uh, we 
I'm just checking in because I know Ruchi, you know, uh, she's, she's always loved your work and she's a huge fan of yours. But Ruchira is also busy at work and I'm just checking in. Do we have Ruchira here by any chance? She just left. I mean, I'd love for her to join back uh, because she has a wonderful experience. If you need her to share her experience, uh, um, you know, she can hop okay, back you know, on the call perhaps. Right. So we'll, we'll, we'll wait and see if that happens. Uh, I do remember that, I do, correct me if I'm wrong, uh, Ruchi, that Ruchira had, had some, had a, had, some kind of concern that was like more than 30 plus years ongoing and it got resolved in one session. Yeah, yeah, it did. Right. Again, it was an eating, uh, she used to eat at night and it was, um, you know, causing uh, teeth issues and weight issues and she was beating herself up emotionally for it and uh, we resolved it fairly quickly. I think it was one session that we kind of, you know, came to the root of the issue and we were able to uh, digest uh, the experience and learn from it, learn the lesson of what it was trying to teach us. And uh, she stopped eating and I don't think she's eating at night anymore. And then we went on, you know, because she had a few sessions with me that she had already purchased. So we went on to discovering a lot more interesting stuff. And yeah, she's she's doing really well. I'm very proud of her as well. I get very excited. Oh, she's joining. She's just saying, <laughs> she, she, Ruchira, are you muted? You could not, you could not stay away, could you? You had to come back. Ruchira? Hi, Neelu. Hi. Hi, Ruchira. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Sorry, Ruchira. I, I had another call that I was, um, I had to get into. So that's why, <laughs> but I heard everyone else's um, testimonials as well. How wonderful. I'll I'll share mine. <laughs> mine. Yes. Yeah. Thank you. I'm um, a huge fan of thing, Ruchi. <laughs> I, I, I am of yours as well. I think I'm in love with all of my clients. So <laughs> I just I just start admiring everyone. Like wow, it's it's amazing what everyone is capable of exploring within themselves. I think it's admirable, you know, that we're we're just capable of so much if we just allow ourselves to get in touch with. So yeah, that's true. That's true. I I went to Ruchi um, what, about two years ago now. I think it's I think it's been yeah, I think two so. years ago, and I came across her work uh, through Mr. Lotus. I think it was a Love and Health Tele Summit uh, where you spoke about conscious creation, and I really connected with some of the things that you spoke about, and I came to you for um, something that I had been struggling with for, like, since I was four years old and I'm 43 now. So you can imagine it's been like 30, 35 years or so. Um, I used to eat um, sweets or, or something like really unhealthy, like chips or a fruit or anything. But basically I would have dinner and I would go to bed and I would start reading and I would eat, start eating. And it didn't matter whether I was, happy in a happy space or not in a happy space or um it, it just didn't it didn't matter where i was or or what i was doing but it had just become a habit and so much so that i remember like my mother used to always say that when i was a child she used to put an apple under my pillow because i would wake up in the middle of the night and eat that apple <laughs> so but then i got to the point and that's when i went to ruchi um, when I had to have multiple implants, <laughs> my teeth were in really bad shape. And I said, I have to do something about it. I'd struggled with trying to give up this habit for a long time. And I used to think, I used to feel terrible about it. And I would eat and I would feel worse <laughs> afterwards. And I took, I took a package on Miss Clotus actually on the Tele Summit. I remember for, I think it was a package of three sessions with you, Ruchi. And, yeah. Um, I went for the first one and I came back and I have not eaten since. Wow. Um, <laughs> um, I, I didn't know it could happen. I didn't know how, and you know, I had tried everything in the sense I'd stopped buying snacks in the house. I had stopped, I'd tried every possible thing. Even if there were no snacks in the house, I would eat a carrot. <laughs> I was that accustomed to eating something while reading in bed. Yeah. And um, since that night, I've, since that session, I've not 
gone back. I did, I did go back and finish my other two sessions with Ruchi. We went on to do other things, I think. Other things, but yeah. I remember, my goodness, that habit that I thought for 35, 38 years, I wouldn't be able to get rid of. Uh, you know, I would have to chain myself to my bed <laughs> and lock the, <laughs> lock the fridge and lock the kitchen. <laughs> I didn't have to do any of that. It was just really simple. It was the simplicity of the process was wonderful as well. I think it's very quick. It's very quick to get to the root of the issue yeah. uh, within therapy. It's very very quick. Yeah, it was wonderful. Thank you so much, Ruchi. You're Thank welcome. You. I I know I've told you this uh, before as well, and I'll tell everyone else. I call it my pre Ruchi era and my post Ruchi era. <laughs> Wow. Wow. That's amazing. I didn't know that. That's amazing. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you so much, Ruchi. And thank you to Mr. Clotus as well. You're amazing. Thank you. Thank you for being you. I better run now. Thank you, Ruchi. Please. Thanks. Thank you for taking the time out. Thanks. Wow. Bye. Thank you. Bye. You have a nice day. You too. All these busy, busy people. Uh, I'm so grateful <laughs> taking you know time out of their schedule to be here. That's amazing. Yeah, right. And the, there, are, you know, two of the people who've come on uh, are the ones who've actually done sessions with you. Ruchi, learning it is gonna allow is going to allow you to be able to do it for yourself and for others as well, right? Absolutely, absolutely. I mean, I had a Thank list you. of things that it's actually going to help you with if I can read that so for um, you know anyone who wants to create a stress-free life uh, anyone who wants to create more abundance whether it's material or spiritual anyone who's seeking the meaning of life therapists who want to know who want to grow their emotional healing toolkit therapists who want to learn inner child healing so the foundation will do all of that for you uh, the advanced on the other hand will help you to learn the truth about time and space and how it can be used to shape your life right now. Uh, you'll be learning the concept of parallel realities, past, present, future, um, and also, as I said, frequential. You will understand your role on a soul level and you'll understand your soul lesson. Uh, it, it can dissolve, uh, you know, resolve deep rooted DNA lessons and you can live a very high vibrational life by doing the foundation and advanced. So yes. Beautiful. Fantastic. We have Meher Ruchi, who's been having a lot of issues with acidity and headaches. Uh, before we, Meher, if, if you can come on with video on, please tell us. And while we're waiting for her to get on, Hi. I know. Can you hear me? Okay. Hi. Yes. And, Hello. And we can see you. Hi, Meher. Hi. Hi. Hi, Ruchi. Hi, Nilu. Hi, hi. hi. All your Sorry, just a ahead. sec. I'll just adjust myself. Yeah. Hi. Welcome. Hi, Ruchi. Hi, dear. Hi. How are you doing? I'm doing good, Ruchi. I, ju uh, I just have this one issue. Uh, whatever I eat, even if I'm careful, every now and then I get this uh, heat. I have a very heaty body. The body heats up. I get acidity. I uh, get a lot of burning. And then my headache starts and the vomiting and all that. Lasts for some three, four days. Takes away. Whatever you eat. Uh, I, I don't even remember what triggers it, to be honest with you. Okay, specific food. I try to be very careful, you know. There is no specific uh, food. I, I have stopped eating my chilies and all that stuff. I'm pretty Are you comfortable? careful. Are you comfortable closing your eyes? It just makes us focus more internally. Yes, I'm very comfortable. In fact, I have a habit of doing it a lot. Perfect. So just close your eyes. Okay. And tell me, how does it make you feel when this happens? This uh, discomfort on eating undesired foods. Is it that? Uh, I sometimes... Uh... I don't know. I sometimes feel uh, maybe I'm uh, uh, maybe I'm overeating. Maybe I shouldn't eat, but I don't really overeat. I have uh, I eat very less, to be honest. 
but i somehow feel guilty there's a lot of guilt inside me god knows for what okay so it makes you feel guilty when this happens when you feel unwell after an episode of eating yes. what you perhaps shouldn't have eaten it makes you feel guilty yes it makes me feel guilty and more so because when i have this issue what happens is i'm not able to do the stuff that i need to and mm. uh, i feel i'm losing uh, a huge chunk of my life because of this and i don't know why it is happening okay so what is it more is it confusing that this is happening or yes. is it that it's a sadness kind of a feeling why me kind of a feeling you know that in spite ah, of okay. taking so much Or care hmm right so keep your eyes closed don't worry about it i'll tell you when to open them all right okay. so you feel a sadness when this happens you feel a sadness that in yes, spite of taking so much care yeah yes is it a desperation or a sadness it's it's both it's both it's like what do you feel more desperation or sadness i think sadness sadness all right let's zero in on the feeling then because the feeling is what's most important we're going to feel it in our physical body and through it we're going to understand what it's trying to tell us all right so i want you to feel this sadness that you have just spoken about don't worry you're safe in feeling it with me right now yes so just allow yourself to feel it i'm here just feel the sadness the sadness has come because you have eaten something that has caused you distress in the physical body so because it does not because it does not allow me to go ahead and do the things i want to do in life correct so the sadness has come on because it has caused you distress in the physical body and that distress then does not allow you to do the things that you want to do correct yes. yes all right all right so just connect with the sadness now as you connect with the sadness tell me where in the physical body are you feeling it the most uh currently on my stomach and uh, my chest where is it more your stomach or your chest just honor the feeling currently allow you, yeah currently the chest and the throat that all area right. all right so just focus on it is it moving is it stabilized no it's moving it's moving right. up Between, and down up and down okay just focus on it focus on where it is more on the throat right now okay focus on the throat then feel the sadness in the throat and tell me on a scale of 0 to 10 10 being horrible and 0 being not bad at all where is it at it's at a 9 that's pretty high all right acknowledge yes. that at a 9 yes and then tell it talk to it as if you're talking to a person now yes tell it i see you i see you i feel you i feel you i recognize you i recognize you you can say it in your mind no problem i know you are here i acknowledge you but today i choose to believe that you are here for a reason i choose to believe that you are here for my own growth and evolution so tell me how or where in my life are you actually helping me what are you pushing me to do that i am not currently doing an answer will come to you give it to me as it comes does anything come to you meher maybe it says take out all your anger and throw it out okay all right and enjoy your life yes wonderful so talk to the sadness once again say i understand what you're trying to tell me i understand that you're telling me to release or let go of all the anger digest perhaps all the anger that i'm feeling so that i can enjoy my life more 
enjoy my food more. So thank you for teaching me this. Whenever you do come up again, I'll know what I have to do. At this point, Meher, we can go a little deeper. Neelu, do I have the time to go a little deeper? Because this needs inner child work. Please, please go ahead. All right. So can we go a little deeper, Meher? Sure. All right. So we've decided to go a little deeper. First, I want you to tell me, with this understanding of what you have to do, where is the sadness at now from on that scale of 0 to 10? It was at a 9. Maybe a 7. Very good. That's great. It's come down. Acknowledge it. And you have learned that you need to deal with the anger so that you can enjoy your life. And that is the purpose of the sadness being here, correct? Yes. All right. So now allow your mind to open up to your memories, Meher. Yes. And as you open up into your memories, move into your awareness. Yes. And then tell me, when was the first time in your life that you did not allow yourself to be happy? And that angered you. What comes to mind? First thoughts, first feelings, first impressions. Okay. Probably when uh, my son was three and uh, he was thrown out of school. Uh-huh. Okay. So what is happening? Tell me. Mm, the child was uh, abused. We were not informed by the school. And mm -hmm. uh, he had become uh, a very angry child from a very charming child. And none of us understood why. Okay. And uh, there was nothing I could do. The, we were sent to a psychiatrist who was a friend of the principal and insisted on giving him an autistic, uh, an autism certificate, whereas there was nothing wrong with him. Wow, that's huge. That's and huge. <laughs> and uh, all that triggered out... Uh, a lot of stuff. How old were you at this point? I think 34. 34. Okay, I want you to get in touch with that 34-year-old Meher. Yes. What is she feeling? Helpless, desperate, angry. But mm -hmm. uh, we were told we could have gone to the court. But uh, I did not want my child to go through more hell. So we just mm -hmm. left the school. Mm-hmm. And uh, the journey uh, for the next 15 years was pretty tough because uh, sure. we couldn't find out the issue. And uh, one sure. school to another, we kept roaming around. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So I want you to get in touch with this 34-year-old Meher. Yeah. And firstly, if you can, if you can see her in front of you, then look into her eyes and tell her I love you. It's all right. I'm here for you. You are not alone. Give her a hug. She needs it. She's going through a really difficult time. Tell her I'm with you in this. You're feeling all this anger because you know that what's happening is not accurate. Is not the truth. Is that right? Yes. Great. So tell her what you did was that you walked away from the school and that got you into a lot of trouble. Yes, it, it changed my child from a very sweet child to a very angry child who right. hated school for the rest of his life. Right. Tell her that this is an opportunity for you to understand the situation better and maybe move into a different reality as well. So if you could, would you handle the situation differently? Mm. Give her the strength. Tell her I'm with you. Would you handle the situation differently? Yes. Yes. I what would, would you do? Ask her. What would you do? Uh, 
I think I would not have wasted my energies uh, getting angry on those people. I would have just probably uh, taken my child earlier and walked out. Amazing. Tell her, give her a high five. Tell her, brilliant. So I want you to own yourself. I want you to understand that it's no point getting angry at people who don't deserve it. You'd rather focus that energy on your child. On the people that matter. Yes. Just believe in your son. Believe in your child. Believe in yourself. And enjoy the moment. Pull him out. And do what needs to be done. It's their loss. Not yours. Yes. Now the universe is going to send a balloon of light to you, Meher, and you're going to pass it on to that 34-year-old Meher. You're helping her right now. You're the mediator. Give it to her and let her blow out all her anger, every last bit into this balloon of light. Let it go. Let me know when you're done. Yeah. You can let it go, both of you together. The universe will know what to do with it. And then just hold your hands out as if you're receiving something. And the universe is going to send you a gift. Let me know what comes to you. It's going to drop in the palms of your hands. What has come? It's very funny. It's all right. What is it? <laughs> the word I get in my head is music. I don't know Wonderful. why. It's talking about enjoying your life. Yes. So tell her this is just about enjoying your life and then just allow her to integrate this music, whatever has come into her palms. Let her integrate it within herself. This 34 year old who stopped enjoying her life. Yes. Take a deep breath in through your nose and out through your mouth, both of you. As you integrate this wonderful lesson. Wonderful. Look into her eyes once again and tell her, I know who you are. And I love you. You don't need to worry about anybody else. Go ahead and enjoy your life. How does she feel, Meher? Relieved, happy, good to have a friend. Excellent. Let her go about and live her life in the highest and best way now, enjoying every moment. And I want you to come back into your space in this divine now moment. Okay. And tell me how your throat feels. Throat is good. It's around two or three right now. Wonderful. That's great. Again, speak to that sadness in your throat. Whatever remaining is there. Two and, two and three is great. We can deal with it for now. We can live with it for now. Yes. And tell it whenever you come up, it's going to be a reminder to me to enjoy my life more. To yes. focus on feeling good. I own my truth. I own my life. I trust this beautiful journey. Yes. Take a deep breath in through your nose and out through your mouth. As you integrate this lesson. Another deep breath in through your nose and out through your mouth. As you allow this lesson to go into each and every cell of your physical body, your DNA, across time and space. Another deep breath in through your nose and out through your mouth. As you integrate this into the divine now moment. <clears throat> and 
and then you can take a few moments to come back and open your eyes whenever you're ready. Welcome Thank back, Meher. Thank you. Wonderful. That How is do you so feel? sweet of you. Very nice, very calm. Thank you so much. You're welcome, darling. All the Thanks. best to you. Have fun. Thank you. Thank you. Go, go learn to the join piano. your course. Please do. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I must. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah, you should learn to do this for yourself and others. It's going to be wonderful and beneficial to I think you so. You and yeah. everybody's life you're going to touch. Yes. Thank you. All the best. God bless. God Thank bless. you, darling. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Mahal. So sweet. Yeah. Yeah, so and I, I you could you could see the difference. She was smiling in the beginning also, but the smile at the end was completely different. Yeah. It was charged completely differently. And she went from a nine to a two. Yeah, that's brilliant. Nine to two. Yeah. And it's magic. It's magical. Yeah. And imagine, I mean, if she if we were doing this as a you know, one on one, we'd probably go a little deeper and understand her purpose of why she's here and you know take it further into what she's here to do and do a future life progression and all of that so it's, it's really um, it you know shifts your perspective completely about life about what you're here for what you're here to do your purpose um, you know allowing you to manifest your highest life your highest destiny so it's it's one I think it's um, I feel very uh, excited and blessed to be able to deliver this to everybody, um, you know, who's going to do the call, who's going to do the uh, workshop with training program. Uh, maybe we should talk about the training program actually, because I'm really excited about, uh, you know, the offer that we're giving. I've never given this offer before. Um, yes, we... absolutely. Please. In fact, Meher, uh, thank you, Meher. You came in for something and you but look at the effect that had she her immediate thing was i gotta learn this yeah true yeah which is amazing i'm, I'm so yeah. glad yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, yeah richie please please tell us please tell us what does what does this workshop what does this course entail and what do we have so um yeah so generally what i offer the foundation for is 35,000 rupees. It's different in dollars, but we're just talking about rupees here. Uh, it's 35,000 rupees for just the foundation. And uh, the advance then is the separate course, which I give for rupees 20,000. Again, I'm not talking, I'm not going to the dollars rate here because yeah. I do offer it internationally as well, but this is what I do in India. And uh, just for today, we're giving, just for today on the call, for 24 hours and then for the first 10 people we're giving it for the whole thing the base the foundation and the advance for 25,000 plus the bonuses which is something I've never done before so I'm excited about it actually because uh, it's at a price and it's at a you know the bonuses offer you benefits that you wouldn't otherwise get so it's a great opportunity wait 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 hang on hang on Richie are you telling me that <clears throat> what was the pre-launch offer? You're you're offering it again right now. Yes, yes. Oh, Let's how it amazing! For us. Yeah. <laughs> Let's do it. Amazing, amazing, super. So everybody who signed up before, awesome. More power to you, and you've been you're such an amazing audience, Richie. Thank you for this gift. You've extended it. Is that for the first 10 people who sign up now? First 10 people who sign up and uh, or 24 hours, whatever gets full faster, we just give it for the same, the same offer. Super, fantastic. And we know how generous you are, Ruji. We will likely hold it for a little bit longer because the, our international audience is going to end up, most of them will end up listening to this call much later in the day. Sure, so of course. Just yeah. to let them know that, listen, you're not missing out on anything you will be a part of whatever gets filled up. You're a definite part of it. So please don't worry at all. And you've, you've got to listen to the rest of what's happening. Tell us, Ruchi. Um, yeah, so it's, uh, it's 
we're giving the foundation for 20,000 and just 5,000 more and you get the advance thrown in and, uh, and the bonuses are, I think um, it's a session with me. The bonuses are a session with me and also uh, we're going to do a Groups. call, a, a group call, which is going to be like a 90 minute call specifically on future lives and future progression because people find that very exciting. So that's what we're going to do. Um, you can just take the foundation as well. You don't need to take the advanced uh, because the foundation, as I said earlier, is going to help you to just sort out whatever you need to and, you know, create the life, manifest the life you desire. So um, that's, that's good too. If you just want to learn that, that's fine. And then advanced is just taking, pushing it a bit further with esoteric metaphysical information. Um, yeah. So that's, that's what it is, Neelu. And you get a session with me as well because, um, you know, the people who are working with me on the call, I think if they have that one thing that they still need to um, work with, then, you know, I'll just help them personally with that. So that's the extra effort I'd like to put in into the people who are taking this with me so that they can go on and become great healers themselves, you know, great therapists themselves. Uh, this is a certification program. So you're going to get certified for it. Immersive therapy is, is registered. Uh, I have a trademark. So, you know, you'll be, you'll be teaching something, you'll be uh, practicing some, something that is trademarked. So it's, um, it's something that you can practice, you can add to your toolkit. Superb. So, and I, I just want to remind everyone that the session with Ruchi is only available as a bonus for this period. This period, it's not available for the rest of the week. So I hope you have your cards and your fingers ready to just like, and our super fast team, Shilpa, Mizba, thank you. They've already posted all the details. But just to know, just to repeat for everyone, Ruchi, I'm just, just going to take everybody through this. Your, basically, your program is you learn the seven principles of immersive therapy. You digest negative emotional charge, inner child healing, etc. You get the immersive therapy textbook and a completion certificate. It's a trademark course, which, you know what? Thank you, Ruchi, for bringing that up. Uh, it had actually kind of slipped my mind. So sorry about that. <laughs> Thank you. That's fine. This is a course duration is for four Zoom calls. And Richie is beginning this on the 27th of June. It's 27th yeah. June, 4th, 11th and 18th July. The time is 11 a.m. to 1.30 p.m. IST. Richie, just a quick question here. Yeah. Because sometimes these uh, timings do not suit our, our international audience. If that is, if that opens up, is there a possibility that you could possibly maybe do the same for them at a separate time? Yeah, I mean, if we get enough uh, international clients, then we could look at that for sure. Yeah. Super, super. Just wanted to, just wanted to, to confirm to everybody that that possibility is there. This, this possibility is open for our international audience as well. Now you can take only just level one. It's absolutely fine. So I'm just taking you through that. The regular price for level one is 35,000 rupees or USD 533. Just on this tele summit, you get it for 25,000 rupees or USD 381. For the first, right now for 24 hours, you get it at a special price of 20,000 rupees or USD 305. And it includes bonuses worth 8,500 rupees or USD 131, which includes a personal session with Ruchi and group session of 90 minutes for future life progressions. All right. So that's a super awesome offer. This was available only at pre-launch, but Ruchi has very generously given it here as well for the first 10 now for now. All right. Superb. And level one and level two is also available for you in super awesome available combinations this normally normally if you would you if you were to take both would cost you 55000 rupees or usd 837 just on this fantastic healers training tele summit you have a special price of 35000 rupees or usd 533 for 24 hours only your special offer price is 30000 rupees or usd 457 and the best part is that the pre-launch offer of 25,000 rupees only for level one and level two 
along with the bonuses is now currently available for I know these are somebody else's words, but it just, it's so apt here for the fastest fingers <laughs> coming on first. <laughs> so this is, this is so, so nice. Richie, thank you. I am, it never ceases to amaze me when I see you, I see all our amazing speakers give these fantastic offers to people. And this is you teaching them something that is going to yeah. help them for themselves and help other people as well. Yeah. Richie, tell me something. What do you, what do you normally charge for an immersive therapy session one-on-one? -on -one? Um, so it's, it's between uh, rupees 3,500 and 5,000. So All it's right. between those depending on what I'm doing. Um, but it's dependent on I mean, dollars. And, uh, Correct. Yeah. Correct. So, and on an average... How many sessions uh, have you seen people take for anything that's acute or even chronic? Like what's the range? So I advise three sessions because I believe that uh, in three sessions we can really get phenomenal results. Um, so right. three sessions is generally great. Uh, but there are times when people can you know, be okay in just one. And there are times when people need 10 or more and that's fine. We, I just take a call, you know, with each client and what they need uh, is what I'm open to giving. Uh, but generally it's three sessions, you know, three sessions is amazing to change any, uh, anything in your life really and to manifest or to begin that process of manifesting the desires that you're right. looking forward to receiving. Yeah. Right. So from anywhere from three to 10 sessions, would cost you therefore people anywhere from 15,000 to 50,000. Yeah. And here, that's right. here you are at 25,000, you get to learn it. Level one at 20,000 only, you get to learn it. It's an investment into yourself. Look at, look at the one time investment that you are going to make into yourself that is going to give you a lifetime of returns. See, see what that opens up for you. It's vast, Absolutely. it's huge. And in Ruchi's words, not just in earth perspective. <laughs> in yeah. the entire... It's a, it's a galactic perspective. It's um, a galactic yeah. perspective. <laughs> Superb. And I also know people that uh, Ruchi has a small surprise for us, which I would like for her to let you know. So we can, if we have the time, we can go in for a meditation. Hello? Yes, absolutely. And Ruchi, if, tell Hello? me this, medi this meditation that you're doing is actually uh, a part of something in level two, right? Yes. So the meditation is, um, it's basically you're creating, you're activating your personal Taurus field within. Uh, because in the advanced course, we talk about the Taurus field. We talk about um, the connection, how the individual connects with everything in the cosmos through the Taurus field uh, by creating a Merkaba within. We're going to do the same right now. So it's part of the advanced course. Uh, we're not going to do the whole meditation, but we're going to do a part of, of the meditation today, which will activate the Merkaba, which will allow you to become that time traveler that you are. Yeah, so we're going to do that. Superb, superb. So, Richie, would that mean yeah. that this meditation is something that we would need to stay with after in silence, you know, contemplate or... That would be preferable because it will, it will be a beautiful way for you to go on and uh, explore the rest of your day uh, in these beautiful body temples of yours. So, um, yeah, it would be so great to just end the call with the meditation yeah okay great fantastic so before we do that Ruchi, i'm just going to remind everybody about the the office again very quickly and while i do that you were mentioning something before the call started about a this this lovely paintings Merkaba paintings that you oh, have are... maybe you could those show are... it to us before we start the meditation Sure. No, these are paintings. Uh, they're actually wonderful. 
mandalas that uh, ah, mandalas, right. me so yeah oh there and it's going to work about twice on it yeah they're so beautiful, Ruchi. Thank, uh, they, thank you. Thank you for sharing that uh, with us. And while you turn that camera around, people, yes. you know the office. It is super amazing. Level one is at 20,000. Okay, together right now, level one and level two is at 25,000. You've got to go and take this for yourselves. And before we go into the meditation, just letting everybody know we are not coming back into the call. Once Ruchi completes the meditation, she's just going to say her, say, the, say her byes and we will close the call immediately at that point itself. Ruchi will be here later in the day to answer any other queries that you have. Absolutely. Regarding any the work. queries you have, please feel free to message. If you need to speak with me, I'm okay with that too. So yeah, I'm here today. Fantastic. And Next tomorrow. For us. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. Because, Great. Awesome. Yeah. Because we're going to be closing after this and taking this opportunity to say a huge thank you to you. It's, thank you it's to always you. so, so lovely and amazing to have you on with us. And this time around with your, with your beautiful, shining, bright light. To be able to see that continuously while listening to you was a different joyful experience altogether. And thank you for these amazing, amazing offers and these beautiful gifts, including this meditation. Thank you so much for having me on, uh, Neelu, and connecting me with your wonderful audience. Uh, they're all beautiful, bright lights. So I'm looking forward to working with them. Yeah. Yes. And uh, also very, and saying on behalf of the team for now, to all you stardust in motion, quote unquote Richie, you guys have a great day. And I'm also now putting myself on mute to enjoy and go through this meditation with Richie. Richie, Perfect. all yours. Wonderful. So we're creating a Taurus field within by activating our personal Merkaba now. And I'd love for all of you to close your eyes, get comfortable. You can lie down if you choose to. And if you're sitting, then I recommend sitting upright with your spine erect so that you can experience that beautiful flow of energy. And then once your eyes are closed, I want you to take three deep breaths in through your nose and out through your mouth to connect with your body. Allow every deep breath to connect you a little bit more with your physical body right here, right now in this divine now moment. And as you go into normal breathing, open up into your awareness to observe your body and your mind simultaneously. Now, focus on your heart center and I want you to imagine a white, glowing, downward facing pyramid in the center of your heart. The pointed end of the pyramid is facing downwards towards Mother Earth. Center yourself in this glowing, downward facing pyramid. This downward facing pyramid faces Mother Earth. The pointed end of it faces Mother Earth. And in a minute now, 
allow your focus, your concentration to move this pyramid from your heart into your solar plexus in the region of your diaphragm and further down into your sacral chakra in your pelvis and then into your root chakra at the base of your spine. This downward facing pyramid now moves even lower and connects to Mother Earth, penetrating Mother Earth and moving deep into her energetic belly. <clears throat> Now feel this pyramid filling up with warm, nourishing energy from Mother Earth. And as the pyramid fills up, it changes color from white to a warm, orangish red. Allow yourself to be nourished in the belly of Mother Earth. We are all children of Mother Earth and she is the one who nourishes our physical bodies. It is on her lap that we grow securely, lovingly. And so let us establish this connection with her right here, right now. Once you feel like your pyramid is bright and glowing with a warm orange red light, nourished and strengthened, feel it ascending back into your body. It is still downward facing because it is always focused and grounded in the energies of Mother Earth. But now slowly it moves higher up and re-enters your body through your root chakra at the base of your spine and your root chakra feels strong and nourished. The pyramid moves further up and now enters into your sacral chakra to nourish it and then higher up into your solar plexus in the area of your diaphragm just above your navel, nourishing it and then finally it anchors itself back into your heart center in the center of your chest. Feel it pulsating with energy, vitality and strength as it anchors into your heart, sending out this energy into your heart and into your entire physical body through your blood. Every cell of your physical body is now bathing in this warm, nourishing energy. Just be with this nourishing energy for a few moments. Now, allow your mind to focus on the up facing white pyramid in the center of your chest. It's beautiful white light glowing and it's pointed end facing upward. The apex looking skyward. I want you to know that we are as much children of the stars as we are of Mother Earth. We are all stardust in motion. And there is an aspect of our consciousness that belongs to and has originated from some part of this beautiful, expansive universe. Each one of us holds galactic lineages in our DNA encoded within our human Earth bodies. And with our upward facing pyramid, we are today going to connect with that universal part of us to awaken higher levels of consciousness within our human DNA. So now, as you focus on your upward facing white pyramid, it starts 
its ascent into your throat chakra in the center of your throat and then higher up into your third eye in the center of your forehead and finally into your crown chakra at the top of your head and from your crown chakra it slowly moves higher up to connect with your personal star gate and it anchors deep into the belly of your personal star you may recognize your star or not that is not the point of this exercise right now but you would have for sure connected with your star through your personal star gate just anchor yourself right now within the belly of your star as you did with mother earth and allow now wisdom codes from your star to get downloaded into your pyramid as these wisdom codes get downloaded into your pyramid your pyramid turns into a beautiful blue color allow this process to unfold for a few moments allow the wisdom codes from your star to get downloaded into your pyramid and then start your descent back into your body once this is done it is still an always upward facing because it is always focused towards the cosmos towards your star family and this pyramid now moves down into your crown chakra filling your crown chakra with wisdom codes and awareness and then lower into your third eye in the center of your forehead filling your third eye with wisdom codes and then down into your throat chakra filling your throat chakra with wisdom codes and finally anchors back into your heart chakra filling your heart chakra with wisdom codes and then from your heart chakra these wisdom codes now flood into your body and your energy field every cell of your physical body and your energy field is filled with these wisdom codes this awareness that will continue to unfold into higher and higher levels of evolution as the days pass as the months pass as the years pass awakening your human dna to its highest potential as you observe your heart center now you will see an activated merkaba in the center of your chest the energies of the downward facing red pyramid and upward facing blue pyramid mingle and create a vibrant violet life force light feel this beautiful violet merkaba in the center of your chest just be with this energy for a few moments this violet merkaba is your seat of power and awareness it is your portal to all the wisdom and information you need and also the strength you need to fulfill your destiny as you breathe into this violet merkaba you are moving into the awareness of being a cosmic being of light and wisdom grounded on mother earth in this beautiful reality we call life
just be with this beautiful violet energy, this beautiful violet Merkaba in the center of your chest. And as it grows stronger, as your awareness becomes clearer, this violet light from the Merkaba grows, fills your body and fills your energy field with brilliant violent light. Feel this violet light in your body and your energy field. And feel your connection with all aspects of yourself across time and space and all realities as you anchor them now into this divine now moment with three deep breaths in through your nose and out through your mouth. Breathing the divine light of your activated violet Merkaba. Activating your divine self, your awakened DNA and grounding it into the reality of this divine now moment. As you come back to normal breathing, allow yourself to integrate back into the now moment. And you can open your eyes whenever you feel ready, feeling fresh, integrated and connected with your divinity, connected with all aspects of your divine personality, all anchored into this divine now moment. Welcome back and thank you for being here with me today. Thank you for being part of immersive therapy, the introduction and I'm looking forward to seeing you in the foundation and advanced courses. I'm excited to share the journey with you so that you can shine your light brighter and brighter, get in touch with it, embrace it, and then share it, share that with the rest of the world. Your slice of the pie, your part of the world, your section of society. Looking forward to engaging with all of you. Lots of love. Take care.